Good afternoon or good morning, depending on what time of the day it happens to be for you today. And I'd like to welcome you. This is Play and Learn with Dr. Susan, and I'm Dr. Susan. And it's a delight to have you here this, this morning and today, actually today. <laughs> All right. Uh, what I wanted to share with you today was we did a book a little while ago uh, called My Magical Gift. And the author and the artist did another book uh, on that same line, and this one is called My Magical Choices. And I kind of like the story, and I like the ideas that it shares with us. And it shares with us all about different choices and things like that that we make all the time. Like, seems like every minute we're making a choice about something, about what we're going to have for breakfast, where we're going to go, what we're going to do, what homework do I need to finish, and all those different things. We're making choices all the time. So um, I thought you might enjoy this story. <clears throat> and then we'll talk a little bit about um, what the how the story relates to us. And then we're going to, I'm creating a little kind of a game to see how much we remember of what goes to what. So if you're really good about that, you can holler out the answers, even though I may not, he I won't hear you. But I'm sure it'll still help me figure out where I'm supposed to put the marks on the papers that we're going to be doing. All right, so let's take a look at the story, and then we'll go into our game we're going to create. All right, this is The Magic of Me. That's the name of the series, and it's called My Magical Choices. It's written by Becky Cummings, and it's illustrated by Suzanne, Suzanne uh, Sembova, I believe is how you say her last name. But it's a fun story. So let's take the adventures with the little boy and the monkey and the dog. All right. The choices you make have superpowers. Do you know that? They, they bring sunshine or rainy showers. So here are some magical things to do that bring the sun to shine right through. Listen closely to this life's advice. Say, I choose, and end with something nice. Take some action, choose what you do. Repeat this often, because magic lives in you. I think that monkey's very excited about the magic. I'm not sure about the kitty cat over there, but we'll see what, what they discover. I choose to be responsible. That's a good choice. Bathing, brushing, getting dressed. Now look. Now you look and feel your best. Clean up all the mess you make. Helping out gives mom and dad a break. I choose to be helpful. Put toys away and feed the cat. You might just like a job like that. Just raise your hand or jump right in while helping others. We all win. Boy, that's so true. To choose to be patient, because that's got to be very hard sometimes. Take your time and wait your turn. Those tricky things, there's tricky things to learn. When life is slow, you've got to wait. Stay calm and know it turns out great. Sometimes we have to be very patient. How long do you think the doggy's going to want to wait to get his bones, right? Just like sometimes we have to wait until we get, get to get home from school and get to have a treat, right? Or drawing a picture. It might take a little bit of time to draw a picture, but we certainly will be happy with the results. I choose to be confident. You know you can. You believe in you. All by yourself, you try something new. You don't give up when things get rough. You know you're made of be and made to be super tough. So look at that. Yeah, can you imagine how hard it is to float? Have you ever done that? That's a hard practice. I choose to be generous, giving gifts for no reason at all. A cupcake, a flower, maybe a ball. Donating books, clothes, or a toy fills your heart with bursts of joy. Also fun just to push somebody on a swing. I choose to be calm. Here's some, here's some good advice. When you're upset, count to 10 or take a break and then try again. 
If still you feel sad or blue, take a calming breath or two. And then the solutions come to your mind. I choose to be brave. You speak what's important, kind and true. Your heart leads the way and knows what to do. You try new things with a good attitude. You do it politely without being rude. I guess that's like trying broccoli and complaining you don't like it before you even taste it, right? I understand those times. I choose to be forgiving. If something makes you feel so sad, use words to explain the hurt you had. Then it's okay to let these feelings go, heal your heart, and let your smile show. Oh, I'm sure the puppy was not, was sad because he chewed up her teddy bear. But again, there's needle and thread to do the repairs. I choose to be a good sport. Play a game, try to have fun, say good job when it's all done. At times you win and at times you lose. Your attitude is what you get to choose and how you're going to feel about it. I choose to be gentle. Use your hands with grace and care. Be kind to pets when stroking their hair. With little friends, you're careful too. Nobody wants to get a boo-boo, like a little mouse. And your brothers and your sisters and, and your friends. I choose to be friendly. You say hello to new people you meet. You give high fives or handshakes to greet. You use kind words with sisters and brothers. You show respect to mothers and fathers, or fathers and mothers, whichever way you put them. I choose to be honest. Sometimes this is hard. Mistakes are part of every day. They help you learn a better way. You say you're sorry, make it right. Truth will make your heart feel light. Well, that's really sweet. I choose to be fun. You play, you dance, you joke, you sing. You enjoy each moment. You enjoy each moment that it brings. You do not need to follow the crowd. Be silly, be you, and laugh out loud. Those are snow angels. Have you ever made a snow angel? Don't make too many of those in California, do we? You are the captain of your own ship. You stir, steer the wheel on your magic trip. So wisely choose the things you do and always remember the magic is in you. Look at all the cool things that they did. It looks like they made some chalk paintings and played hopscotch. And our little kitty decided they'd like to paint. So the magic starts in you. I imagine it can. If it doesn't start there, where is it going to start? Special as can be, this is the magic of the key. The magic of the key and the magic of me. And the end with our life preserver. All right. That is a very fun story. But it certainly gives us things to think about, doesn't it? As we said before, how many different things we go about choosing all the time. Choosing certain ways to be, cert choosing certain ways to think. Choosing ways in which we can make a difference for ourselves and for other people. And for our families. We make choices all the time. You know, you have to make a choice every time you get up in the morning. What am I going to wear today? Sometimes we pick, up, pick out clothes and colors the way we feel when we get up in the morning. If we feel kind of sad and dumpy and, you know, sometimes we have days like that when we get out of bed, we might feel, pick colors that are like gray and black and brown and that. And if you have a feeling like that and you don't want to stay that way, stay in that feeling for the whole day, turn right around and look in your closet. Look for something bright like yellow or orange or bright green or one of those colors that you can put on that helps you pick up your mood and, and feel better and uh, make a bigger difference in your day than feeling sad. 
or feeling tired or something along those lines. Lots of things you can do with color. Do you know that? Lots of things. As you notice with the book that we read, there was a lot of different colors in there, wasn't it? And they always use different colors for the words that they chose to look at, the different things that you can choose. So I thought we'd create a little bit of a game. And I, I used uh, some of the um, storybooks. I made some copies uh, to use for the craft. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and go over the words, the uh, choices that they talked about. And once we do that, we're going to glue those down. Then we're going to try and remember what words went with that choice. So we're going to kind of play a game, and, and I'm going to tell you something a little bit at the end about why we did this particular process. All right, so I've got my glue stick. And we're going to, on this side, we have the words and things that they talked about. You can see that in the screen right there. Okay. And there's a little person in the middle. And it says, magic starts in you. So we're going to start there. And the first one we're going to put down is, I choose to be calm. So I'm just putting some glue on the back. I'm not putting this in any particular place. I'm just going to stick it here. Okay, this is kind of the the game we're going to create, okay? And the next one is I choose to be generous. How were you generous today? Have you been generous today? With your thoughts, or your feelings, or you did something special for someone? Did you do anything like that today? We'll put that one here. And I choose to be gentle. You know, I know we, when uh, parts of the book talked about how you can be gentle, do you remember to be gentle with yourself? There are times when sometimes we don't always get finished the things we want to get finished and then we get upset with ourselves that we didn't, we didn't get something done we needed to do and, or we, for, we were supposed to do something and we forgot and, and things like that. We have to be gentle with ourselves sometimes when we forget. Life gets busy and we get busy doing things and sometimes things slip our minds. I know it happens with big people, little people. It happens with everybody. And we have to be gentle with ourselves when that happens. And let me see. I choose to be friendly. We're going to talk about how they talked about choosing to be friendly. Have you, if you wanted to be friendly today, what kind of things would you do? Maybe you have a friend that's having a hard time and they, they need to be cheered up. Mm, what could you do with that? Could you do something that might help your friend? Or maybe your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister's having a hard time with something. Could you find something to do? This one is, I choose to be patient. That's one of those really hard ones, isn't it? That we have to be patient. Lots of times we have to be patient with something that we're excited about, but it's a little bit down the ways before we get to get to it. Or maybe we're saving for something special that we really want to get. And we have chores to do and things to do maybe to earn some money to buy a special thing that we want. And we have to be patient. It takes time. And sometimes it just takes time for things to happen. It's like, I know it takes time for the holidays to get here. And it takes time for when you're expecting special guests to come and visit. We have to wait for that calendar to turn the pages, right? We can't just close our eyes and then open them again and go, oh, here it is, it's already here. Sometimes it feels that way. But a lot of times we have to work on that patience. And patience is always a good thing to, to, um, to create. This one is choose to be a good sport. You guys play sports? Or play games with your neighbors like basketball and, and uh, some of those other sports, that, things that you can play at home, play games like card games and table games and things like that. You have to be a good sport when you play those too because sometimes we're not always winners, but what do we get to do when, we, when that happens? We get to choose how we're going to feel about it, right? All right, here's a good one. I choose to be confident. Do you have anything coming up that you, you need to be confident about, or you know you're going to know how to do something, or you're uh, working on a project that you have to practice, like playing music. You have to be confident about what your abilities are 
and how you can do that. Well, here's our, fav our favorite one. I choose to be responsible. Hmm. Boy, that has a lot of words in it. And you know, there's another word to responsible is, can I respond to what I promised that I would do? That's the ability to respond, to be responsible. Okay, so we're going to put that one over here. And, and then here's the fun one. Whoops, I wanted to run away from me. I choose to be helpful. I like to be helpful. I like to help people and do things that, that make them happy. And uh, I like to be helpful to myself, too. I like to pick times and things that I, of stuff that I like to do for myself. And sometimes the only way I get an opportunity to do that is to be helpful with the things that I need to do for not necessarily myself, but for other people, so I can do that for myself, that I can enjoy helping myself to creativity and things that I enjoy doing. That all these things come together. So we're going to talk about that as soon as we finish our game that we're going to play here. So on this side, we have what we choose. And on this side is the words that they used and the ideas that they had about the things that you choose. So we're going to just kind of play a little game here. And I have a different colored pen for each one of these. So we're going to match them to the things that was, was said or suggested in the book. If you can think of other things and you want to play this game at home, just write down one word and then, and then when, it, uh, when we come to what would go with that word, you can write down some of your own. Just to remind yourself of the ways in which we can, we can do things differently and we can make good choices. So let's start with this one. Let's do, um, I choose to be brave. Do you remember about the brave? And let's see, what are our choices? Um, let me see. Um, uh, let's see. Let's try um, to be brave. To raise, just raise your hand and jump right in while helping others, we always win. That might be go with helpful, do you think? Let's see, um, since we said this one, just raise your hand and jump right in. When helping others, everybody wins. So do you think that would be good for helpful? Or do you think maybe um, you use more words? Let's see, uh, oh, here's one. Let's try this one. You know you can believe in you all by yourself. Try new things to do. I think that might go with brave, don't you? Sometimes we have to be brave about trying things new and doing something by ourselves. So should we use that one? So let's see, where's the be brave? Right here. Oh, it's right across from it. So let's take this pen and let's just circle this. That it goes with this one. It's like the word is jumping out and telling us that. All right, let's do, um, I choose I choose to be fun. I think that was the last page. Um, there's one here. Be silly, be you, and laugh out loud. That was one of the things they were talking about, is so you don't have to follow the crowd. You can be yourself. So let's do that one. So we're going to take that, and we're going to circle that, and go all the way around to there. OK, let's see. What's another one? Um, let's do this one. Then it's okay to the, let these feelings go. Heal your heart and let your smile show. I think that one had to do with forgiveness. When um, the little doggy chewed up the, the toy. So let's see, where is that forgiveness one? Um, be helpful, generous, gentle. Be friendly, patient. Confident. I don't find it in here. Maybe we lost that piece of paper, that one. Well, anyway, we'll go on to another one. Um, you speak what's important, kind and true. Try new things with a good attitude. That would be confidence.
confident, you think? I think that's a really good one to go with confident. A lot of things that they talked about in each one of these can really go with a lot of them, not necessarily just one, right? So we can almost have fun just picking out different ones that still relate, even though it may not be the one they used in the storybook. How about use your hands with grace and care? What, word, what do you think goes with that? Do you think that one might be, I choose to be gentle? I think that goes well with that one, don't you? So we'll just come all the way around here. We're going to make a very colorful paper. And we're going to squiggle all the way over here and go around these and this. Make a really cool picture. And come there. So we've got that one. And the next one... Um, mistakes are part of every day. Just say you're sorry and make it right. The truth will make your heart full. Do you think that is the honest? That was the one about the teacup. Remember that picture about the teacup? Let's do that. And mistakes do happen every single day. And the other great thing about when we make a mistake or we've discovered something new is that we can... It's an opportunity to learn something new. Learn ways in which we can be different for that one. And let's see. Stay calm and know it turns out great. That one was the one with patience. Let's see, where is that one? Okay. We'll find that one in here. How about this one? Be silly and be you and laugh out loud. We did that one already. That was I choose to be fun. Um, how about, let's find the one that matches, um, uh, let's see, being calm. Oh, I think it's this one. The word's right there for us. Look at that. Stay calm and know it turns out great. I choose to be calm. So that one goes to that one. Should have looked at the words right away, shouldn't we have? Okay, so we're going to go all the way across the paper and go all the way around these words and go around calm. There we are. I choose to be calm. And do you remember the one about generous? The things to do when uh, generous? Um, I think that's this one. Donating books, clothes, or toys fill your heart with bursts of joy. When you give things away that you're not using anymore, that are still in really super good condition, and it would be nice that other people get to enjoy them too. So we're going to go all the way around here and go around. I choose to be generous. That's always a fun thing to do, to be able to go through things that, that you have that you know, may not be interested in anymore or you're, you're ready to let go of them and give someone else an opportunity to use them and they're still really good. There's no reason not to do that. Okay? And let's see. I choose to be helpful. What was the helpful one? Uh, let's see. I think that was the one. Let's see. What other ones do we have here? Oh, here you go. Helpful. Clean up all the mess you make, helping give mom and dad a break, being helpful. You can also be helpful to yourself. Do you know how to be helpful to yourself? I'll give you a clue. In the morning when you get up and you, you have, your, have your clothes all laid out, it helps save time. Do you know that? It helps save time in the morning if you know what you're going to wear. Or make your bed so that you don't have to hassle with that when you get home if you've gone out. You know, that's one of the other good things, to being helpful for, to yourself. Well, here's one. Let's see. I choose to be a good sport. And it says, play a game and try to have fun. Say, good job, when it's all done. And have you played sports where you've played so hard and, and you, and the, you didn't get the score, or your team didn't win, and we feel very sad and disappointed. 
Well, it's okay to feel sad and disappointed when you put all your efforts into it and it didn't turn out like you wanted. But one of the good things about that is that we did the best we could do and we know we can practice and get better for the next time. And we've also learned something. What did you learn that you didn't know before? Or you learned something you need to practice a little bit more on. I think the picture in the book was about um, not getting on the basketball team and he had to learn to dribble better. So one of the, the, the players on the team said, I'll help you do that. So that's one of the ways. So there's helpful in there and there's also being generous and being a good sport. There's all kinds of things in there. Not just one necessarily that we, we read and think goes with it. And let me see, what else do we have in here? We have, I choose to be friendly. Let's see, where's friendly? One of the ways you can be, can you be friendly to your family? Do you know how to do that? Most of the time when we think about being friendly, we think about being friendly to someone we didn't know or just meeting someone, you know, like the high five and the shaking hands. But do you know you can be friendly to your mom and your dad and your sisters and brothers? You can be friendly with, the, with them simply by being respectful. That's one of the ways. Yeah, we're going to go way over here because that one talks about using kind words with your sisters and your brothers and be respectful of your mom and your dad, especially after they've been at work all day and they're tired and it's time to come home and fix dinner and all that stuff. And we may have a million questions for our parents. We give them a couple minutes to just sit down and relax before we jump all over them with questions or can you do this for me or can you do that for me? That's being friendly, don't you think? Okay, and I choose to be responsible. Uh, jump, just raise your hand and jump right in when helping others. That's a good one for that. And let's see, what other ones can we do? I like that one. Yeah, so we'll, we'll circle this one. And everybody wins when that happens, when we become responsible for the things that we, we do or the things that we plan on doing. That can help everybody. And we have one here we haven't done yet. We have the um, choose to be brave. Did we do brave? No, we didn't do brave yet. Choose to be brave. Uh, let's see. See. Choose to be brave. And we have this one here. When you speak what's important, kind and true, you try new things with a good attitude. Sometimes it, it's, it's interesting to be brave about stepping out and doing something you've never done before and having to uh, do things that are new and, and meet people that you've never met before maybe likes with your family, with new friends, and things like that. So that's one of those things, too. And let's see, what else did we have? I think we pretty much got all of them matched together. Now, the interesting part would be to reread the book, which we don't, we're not going to do right now, but to think about it. But all the things that we have on this paper, I choose to be calm, and I choose to be generous, I choose to be friendly, I choose to be patient, all of those other things, is that when we do these things and we make those choices, there's lots of different, they call them scenarios, or different things that can happen or different events that take place, that all these words combine. But the most important part about all of these words and all of these things is it makes up you. And I have one more color. Let's see, I'm going to use the dark blue. That, we're going to go and outline the little character that we have in the center here because the character is us or individuals or you because all of these things that come together our actions and thoughts and words and deeds that you do that make up you. And you are the most important part of all of this. Because if it wasn't for the magic in you, in who you are, in what you think and what you do, 
none of all this would happen. So if you think about this, this is a road map, kind of a road map to who you are. We know we are patient, we're kind, we're confident, we're brave when it's new things to do. We get to be fun, we get to be ourselves, we get to be generous, we get to be calm when that time, time and events happen, and we get to be a good sport when it comes to playing games or taking our turn. We'll see a lot in taking our turn, being a good sport when you do that. And to be honest about what we think and what we do, to be helpful, all of these different things make you who you are. And when you make your choices about all of these different activities and the things that we do, it's just a great picture of who you are. And every single day, we become greater and greater than we were the day before. So today, see all of these fun things make a difference in your day and everybody else's day by just being who you are, because you are amazing. So you have an amazing week, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Take care. <laughs>